Thank you so much. I am so, so, so humbled. There's so many wonderful charter school leaders, and there's so many other people who deserve this a lot more than me. Uh, one of them being my wife, who I think is the greatest charter school leader in Los Angeles. A very, very special thank you to CCSA for this honor, um, particularly my friends on the LA Advocacy Team. We have gotten to know each other very well over the course of the last year with the Los Angeles Advocacy Council. Um, at, the, at the end of that video, you saw a young man named Brian Alvarez. Brian Alvarez is an incredibly hardworking young man. His father is incredibly hardworking as well, and I know that because his father is a custodian at our high school, and Brian's dad breaks his back every day to be a good role model for his son. And he wants his son to be equally hardworking, but to have a different path in life. But that path is a tough one. Less than 6% of tech workers are minorities, brown and black. And that has to change. But every disruption of the status quo starts somewhere. It starts with an education reform movement with all of you. It starts with charter schools within that movement innovating and always striving to evolve. It starts with charter leaders taking on advocacy even though their plates are full with curriculum and instruction. And finally, that disruption of the status quo starts with a kid like Brian. Brian understands that there is a statistical wall that he needs to break through. And Brian is choosing to run straight through that wall based on his God-given intelligence, the education we're giving him at step prep schools, but through the blunt force trauma of his unbreakable will. At the end of that video, Brian says that he looks up to me. The reality is I wake up every day trying to be a little more like Brian. Thank you so much for this honor, I really appreciate it.